Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the IAT sensor or engine air temperature sensor. This sensor is essential for the proper functioning of our vehicle as it measures the temperature of the air entering the engine. Throughout this video, we will explore what this sensor is for, the failures that can be caused by its malfunction, and some practical tips on how to test it in a simple way. So, if you're ready, let's get started. The IAT sensor is a thermistor, which means it has a variable resistance that changes depending on the air temperature. This sensor features two wires that connect directly to the vehicle's computer. The computer provides a 5-volt power supply and a ground connection. As the air temperature varies, so does the resistance of the sensor, allowing the computer to adjust the timing and amount of fuel injection. This is crucial to keep the air-fuel mixture at optimal levels, especially during cold starting. When the IAT sensor is not working properly, it can cause various problems in the vehicle. One of the most common symptoms is the check light on the dashboard, which can be accompanied by error codes such as P0112, P0127, or P0113. In addition, a sensor malfunction can result in high fuel consumption, pollutant emissions problems, and difficulties in starting the engine cold. It is also possible to experience erratic accelerations or an unusual response when accelerating, which can be frustrating for the driver. To check if the IAT sensor is working properly, we must first check the powers. With the engine off and the key in the on position, we disconnect the sensor and check the cables. Using a multimeter, we can measure 5 volt power and grounding. Then, with the engine running, it is important to compare the values of the IAT sensor with those of the coolant temperature sensor. Both should show similar temperatures when the engine is cold, and the IAT sensor should be kept stable as the engine warms up. Finally, it is important to keep the IAT sensor in good condition. If we notice that the sensor is dirty, we can clean it with a sensor-specific liquid, making sure to do it carefully. In some vehicles, the IAT sensor may be located along with the MAP sensor, so it's advisable to check both. Remember that a clean and well-maintained sensor is key to the optimal performance of your engine. 